you know, I think it's changed people's minds, right? What, what you can do in a place like this has really changed people's minds and we've changed the conversation in Australia. You know, that's a big turnaround from where we were uh, even, a, even a year or so ago. I'm Professor Mal McLeod. Um, I'm a research chemist from the Australian National University and I help out with the CanTest Health and Drug Checking Service, which is where we're located. Uh, and uh, of course, there's a lot of analytical chemistry that goes on here. At one level, it's, it's sort of the basic, basic thing that chemists do, right? Uh, is, uh, is identify substances, or make substances, identify substances. Um, and so we're pretty good at that. Um, but what this service does is really brings it home. It's really a nice application of the chemistry that we routinely do. And I think an outcome of that is that we're really successfully able to monitor the drug market in Australia um, and particularly locally here in Canberra. So when new things do pop up, we're, we're, we're able to identify them and we're able to alert the community. And here's our little sample. Uh, it's in a vial but we get pills, we get capsules, we get powders. Uh, so let's, uh, let's have a go at running this. Um, you just need a, a tiny amount of substance. And pop it over the middle, enter the name, and away we go. We've got codeine base as the first, uh, first match. Score's a little bit low, so um, normally we say if the score's over 750, we're very confident. When the client uh, is ready for the testing, they come in, they're in here with the analysts, uh, and we run the tests. Uh, so there's a few things we do. Uh, we've got, uh, got a balance down the front here where we weigh the sample, we take some photos. There's an FTIR machine we talked about earlier. Again, this is really good at identifying uh, drugs that we find. And over here, this big beast, this is the UPLC machine. This can separate drugs, it can identify them, and it can tell us something about their purity. Just about every shift, if something pops up, you know, my phone will go ping. Um, you know, we've got something here, we don't know what it is, and we'll, we'll formulate a response to that. You know, is it, is it something we're concerned about? Do we bring it back to ANU? Do we look further at it? At the CanTest service, we can provide clients with information about, you know, the drug, drug contents, the purity sometimes uh, of, of the drugs that they're, they're presenting to us. Um, but on occasion, uh, we, we, fight, we do find new things or unexpected things, and, and in that case, we have to do more. Uh, and so that's when we, we bring it back to the ANU for further work. One of the early things that uh, we discovered was um, a new ketamine derivative. Um, we were one of the first labs in the world to identify this, uh, as, as far as we know, um, and the first drug checking service to identify it. So the compound's called 2-fluoro-2-oxo-PCE. Uh, and the real message here is this is, a, this is a new substance and we don't know much about it. Uh, so uh, there, could be, there could be elevated risks associated with this compound. Look, I think it's been um, really, really important. We've uh, had a really strong uptake of clients coming into the service. And in every case, they're learning something about the drugs that they've got in their possession. Um, and they're learning about the risks associated with those drugs and how to stay a bit safer. We've all got a lot out of it. Um, like I said, it's a really great way to apply the knowledge that we have to a, a real, real world problem. Um, not just hiding away in our lab. 